today this video will cover some new functionality introduced in Dynamics 365 and this is probably one of the most exciting pieces of functionality which is the editable grids. So the video will show um, how to set the editable grid functionality up for views and subgrids. So you can see here that I've got one that configured for the account view here and if I just want to change AdventureWorks to CRM cap for example I can just go ahead and do that. So it is actually so this is actually interestingly enough that this um, includes a business rule that I actually included in one of my previous videos which will actually link in the sidebar so you can even see that just from that demonstration that business rules um, do validate and do work um, on editable grids so and what we'll do in the video is we'll actually use the opportunity entity to do our customizations. So you can see here I've um, I've got open the default solution. I've got the opportunity selected. So I'm just on the opportunity name itself. So if I just click on controls, you can see that I can add a control here. I want to select the editable grid functionality, and I'm going to click add, and I want to enable it for web. So you can actually have enable. Uh, and you can actually enable editable grid for phone and tablet as well. I'm not going to cover that in the video, but this is where you'll do that here too. And if you did want to um, add a lookup for the grid view um, and an old nested grid stuff, which I'm not going to cover, I'll put I'll pop a really good link in the um, in the bottom. But I'm I'm not going to complicate it with that. But let's just say that I actually want to um, configure uh, a lookup. Um, I will do it here with some of the columns as well and um, just from uh, the actual system views here so once I've done that and once I'm happy with that I just simply need to save it and then I'm going to publish it as well so then we'll take a look at then what the opportunity looks like with our new editable grid functionality so publishing has been completed and now you can see that I'm on the opportunity view here so you can see the UI has slightly changed it's characterized by you've got the the group by here and it is a slightly different UI in terms of the actual table slightly different weightings and, and font there but you can see that if I was just to click into here and just rename this to CRM cap for example that my changes are, are instant and it's also not just like single line text but you've got um, amazing support for lookup so you can see here that I can just click here and just select which one I want and it changes it um, it is very um, it, it blends very well into the the CRM environment itself and, and the user experience so and um, that's that's really configuring it in a nutshell if you want to change views then you can do and it and it does allow you to do that and you don't have to do it per view or anything like that so that's that's really uh, the kind of main views in a nutshell the next section will take a look at subgrids okay so this section will take a look at how to make a subgrid editable so I'm currently on the opportunity form here and if I just scroll down we've got our competitor subgrid here which is just a standard subgrid and I want to make that editable so I'm going to go into the form got to go into the default solution obviously you'd go through the solutions and open up your solution if you were using um, good solution management and not customizing the default solution. I'm just doing this for demo purposes. So I'm going to scroll down to the competitor subgrid here and open up the properties. And similar to how you edit the view, uh, it's very, very similar on how, on how you do that. You simply just go to control tab, add a control and select editable grid. Click add. Same thing happens. I'm not going to change a thing here. I'm just going to simply make it available for web and then click OK. I'm going to save and I'm going to go ahead and publish it as well and then we'll be able to then take a look at our changes that we just made. So the changes have now been published. I'm on my opportunity record and if I just scroll down you can again see the competitors subgrid has just changed slightly. We've got the group by but now we can actually go into here and change the actual field and it changes as well so if I just wanted to put anything in there you can see that that changes very similar to the um, uh, the view as well I can just go ahead and save it and that's it so you, the editable grids are actually very very simple very easy to configure um, and you can get them up and running um, very quickly so I hope that's helped